Absolutely. We're unpacking that all with Dr. Zane this morning. We're talking metabolism, thyroid, different body types. Right now, we are focusing on also different body types and how that can affect your weight loss journey. Give us a shout, 083 That's the number if you have any comments or queries around this very big kind of topic this morning, Dr. Zane. So um, we've unpacked the metabolism, what it means, you know, uh, some of the things that you can do. We established that, you know, just being active, not necessarily a heavy training regime, but just being active can help, you know, help the metabolism in terms of you losing weight. But different body types, I mean, that plays a big role as well. So you get, of course, we know at Hourglass, your apple, yeah, your pear shape, your rectangle. But what would you say is pretty, you know, if you take a look at the, across the board, the hardest area of the body to lose weight? So my experience, I often find my female patients struggle to lose weight, especially if they've got more of a pear shape distribution. Fortunately, when you carry weight in that distribution, it's very unlikely that that weight is going to result in sort of metabolic disease like diabetes and high yes. blood pressure and cholesterol. But from an aesthetic point of view, obviously, it's quite unpleasing to them, and, but it is a very difficult area to mobilize fat in. Okay, specifically the bum area, right? And of course, for the guys on the, on the <coughs> retrospect, I mean, belly fat, that's also a difficult one. But I think, once again, just across the board, I think people have been stereotyping the fact that if you have, if you do carry some fat around the, the midsection, I mean, that you automatically now you are unhealthy. But that not necessarily true. Not necessarily true. But it is a marker of the okay. fact that perhaps when you carry that excess weight around your middle, that you might also be carrying what we call ectopic fat. So you're laying yeah. down fat in abnormal places in the body, like in the liver, around organs in the pancreas. Mm -hmm. And there certainly is a correlation when you have visceral fat with negative health mm. outcomes, so increased risk of diabetes, high blood pressure, mm. cholesterol problems. So it's a marker, but certainly not every person yeah. who carries a little bit of extra weight around the middle is necessarily yeah. unhealthy. Yeah. So, so why is it so hard, really, if you do have a little bit of um, fat deposits around the midsection, um, the bum area as well, why is it so, so hard to specifically lose the, that, that fat that's been accumulated? Well, unfortunately, it comes back to our genes again. So okay. where we carry fat is very largely sort of determined by our genetic backgrounds. Okay. So we see that, you know, you walk through a mall and you see families who all look pretty similar. Some of that's obviously learned behavior in terms of eating patterns and so on, but certainly there's a very large genetic component yeah. to that. And that we unfortunately can't do very much about. Yeah. Also, with time, especially for men, you mentioned the belly fat. Yeah. In terms of our testosterone levels, we kind of peak in our sort of late 20s, yeah. early 30s, and there's unfortunately a natural decline yeah. thereafter. And testosterone really is important for sort of maintaining mm -hmm. that mid-gut section. So as your levels decline, yeah you tend to yeah. sort of accumulate fat in the middle. So I think the key here is as well, if you decide to go on a weight loss journey, if you want to be ready for summer, you really ultimately need to look at your body type and then determine what is the best way to go about losing your weight in terms of diet, in terms of exercise. Yeah, absolutely. And I think one also has to be sort of realistic about it. You know, yeah. I, I become sort of frustrated when people want me to make them a size zero when that's just not ever going to happen. Yeah. I think it's more important that you kind of accept what you look like and if yeah. you're healthy at a specific weight, that's fantastic. Yeah. If you're unhealthy, clearly there's something that you need yeah. to do about it. The key here is to, to, to strive for, for, for being healthy. Correct. That's, that's all right. Correct. Well, definitely also uh, a great topic. We are going to be unpacking the thyroid in our next segment here, which is I think a lot of people might have questions around the thyroid exactly, you know, what that is and what the function of that is in the body. So stick around. 083 is that number. 083-913-3728. Give us a shot if you have any comments or queries or if you want to ask uh, some advice from Dr. Zane. He's here on standby to answer your questions.